G'day viewers, this video is a response to Just Alan. Now, I've responded to a few of Alan's videos. One of the reasons I like responding to him is, well, from what I've been able to work out, on topics like politics and religion, Alan and I disagree in pretty much every substantive way. But, I still respect the guy. I even like him. Because he's open-minded, thoughtful, and listens to people. Even people he disagrees with. Even people who, in my opinion, probably don't deserve to be listened to. So that's the first lesson for the day, kids. It's possible to like someone you disagree with. And it's also possible that you can think someone who essentially agrees with you is a complete dick. Because it was some of the comments to Alan's video that got me going more than the video itself. People who have an unswerving belief in the innate superiority of science over religion. Now, not that it should count, but I'm just going to clarify a point, and some dicks will misconstrue it and misquote it anyway. But, in terms of science and religion, I'm not a follower of religion. I really don't think it's that important. The concept of some supreme being who gives a shit whether or not I worship said supreme being, that's just ridiculous to me. That's a human conceit. Any being that desperately needs to be worshipped and is going to punish me eternally for not worshipping them, well, they ain't real supreme in my book. Me, I'm a proponent of scientific investigation as a way to understand life, as opposed to religious followings. But one thing I think a lot of pro-science, anti-religion people seem to willfully ignore is that science is based on faith. And I mean that in both the good sense and the bad sense. For me, faith in the good sense means that scientists believe in their work. And those of us who believe in scientists have faith that people smarter than us are doing the hard work to work out the answers to the big questions. Now, the best scientists know that there's unlikely to ever be a universal and unchanging truth discovered. But they work hard and add a few pieces to the puzzle when they can. I'll just repeat, I think it's insane for a scientist not to have faith in their work, not to believe in their results. But history shows us that some of our most dearly held scientific beliefs are likely to be revised, if not completely wiped out, by subsequent discoveries. It really isn't possible to have a deep understanding of scientific theory. You might feel really pleased with yourself that you read some thousand-page book covering the latest scientific theories or discoveries, but you don't really understand it in the same way as the people who did the work. By the by, any non-scientist who asserts they really do deeply understand some of the more arcane aspects of science, they're either in 0.00001% of the population, or they're a wanker. You do the math and take a guess at what I think of them. So pretty much by definition, if we say we believe in scientific principles, we believe that based on faith. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like most forms of faith, it depends how you apply it that makes it whether it's good or bad. Now for me, a good application of faith is something like this. I believe that the majority of scientists are acting in good faith. I believe their greater goal is to expand knowledge, not to prove they're better than everyone else. I believe the experiments they conducted to verify important theories are rigorous, repeatable, and peer-reviewed. I believe the best scientists are always asking questions because the currently believed answers might be wrong. So that's my version of science equals faith in a good way. Of course, there are people who apply their scientific faith in what I see as a bad way. And really, when someone starts leaping in and saying, all science is right, all religion is wrong, belief in religion automatically makes you stupid, I almost find that amusing because these people don't seem to understand that they're falling into the same trap of zealotry that religious fundamentalists stumble into. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for aggressively fighting to keep science and religion separate. For instance, the idea that gets touted that you should teach creationism alongside evolution so kids learn the controversy. Well, that's just utter bullshit. And that goes double for creationism's lying, scumbag, cousin, intelligent design. 
Fuck me, just admit you're creationists. It all boils down to magic bloke in the sky done it, so just admit what you are. You shouldn't teach the controversy in science classes because there is no controversy in scientific circles regarding creationism versus evolution. Now, there's quite a bit of controversy about some of the finer points and the more twisted arcane paths of evolutionary theory, but that isn't the same thing. Trust me on this, people. If there's some discovery made that invalidates some or even all of currently held evolutionary theory, that discovery is going to do nothing to make creationism any less of a fairy story. To be fair, I understand the impulse towards scientific zealotry. If you dedicate your whole life to understanding the natural order of things in a logical, sensible way, and then you have to deal with reactionary morons trying to tear you down in God's name, geez, why not just call them fuckwits and be done with it? My personal belief is religious fundamentalists of any stripe tend to be utter morons. Well, maybe not morons in the literal sense of being unintelligent, although some of them are really, really unintelligent. But you can't help feeling that religious nuts are really keen on crushing any form of knowledge that challenges their magic bloke in the sky done it view of the cosmos. But it is important to remember, there's no straight line of logic between religious fundamentalists are dickheads and anyone who believes in God is stupid. It can be comforting to think that way, but really it doesn't hold up. And likewise, saying I believe in science doesn't automatically make you a genius. Seriously, a lot of people who support science over religion are loudmouth dickheads who need to sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up. Now, I've had the amusing experience more than once of some supporter of science saying it isn't possible to be stupid and choose science over religion because it takes intelligence to have a sceptical mind. That's a really seductive line of reasoning, but I have two main problems with it. First, whenever someone uses circular logic, like, well, it is what it is because it is what it is, I get really suspicious. Second, that idea presupposes that anyone who professes to believe in science actually understands in any real sense what they're believing in, rather than they're just believing it because it seems like a good idea. Guys, you know what? The scientists are dumbing it down for us poor schmucks just so we can get an inkling of what they're working on. It all comes back to believing in science being a leap of faith. Now, I happen to believe that it's an intelligent leap of faith that respects logical and rigorous application of scientific inquiry, and I definitely believe that way too much religious thought actively crushes and even persecutes people who dare to challenge the dogma of religion. But to say that anyone who supports science is automatically intelligent is just ignoring a mountain of evidence to the contrary. My personal favourite is when you refer to scientific zealotry and you get someone jumping all over you going, what? What zealotry? Who's the zealot? Where's the scientific zealot? Show me a scientific zealot! Um. Have you got yourself a mirror there, champ? Given the narcissism that some of these people exhibit, I suspect they have a huge number of mirrors. It's just true self-reflection and introspection that they aren't very good at. Interestingly, I've noticed you get the same result if you question zealous supporters of Israel, Apple computers, or agile software development. So the fact that I think science, as opposed to religion, is the way to discover the truth doesn't change the fact that I've made that decision based on faith. I also think science is rewarded by constant questioning and religion, in particular religious institutions, really don't hold up very well against close scrutiny and questioning. But I also think that scientific zealots can be more deluded than religious zealots. At least the religious zealots tend to admit they're acting from blind faith.